you didn't draw that picture in Photoshop, the computer did. Editing Jody here with a little addition before you watch this video. This is a philosophical argument, not a legal one. I'm not arguing the way things are or the way the law is written. I'm arguing the way that I think things should be. Keep that in mind. On with the video. There are ongoing discussions and even court cases regarding whether or not artificial intelligence created art can be copyrighted. I say it should be. But let's go over why they say it shouldn't be. It is the opinion of at least one court and several people that art created by artificial intelligence should not be protected under copyright. The rationale for this usually goes, how much creative effort went into this? How much effort did you put into this artificial intelligence? All you did was type some words into a box and hit enter. Not enough creative effort went into the process to make it copyrightable. I think this excuse is absolute BS, and here's why. If you take any image created by artificial intelligence that you would call art, and you don't know where it came from, and you look at it, and you go, that is copyrightable, then it probably should be. Copyright doesn't cover certain things. Most interesting in this case would be trivial things, or things that were created just out of nowhere with no human involvement. For example, you can't copyright the shape of a rock face that naturally formed. And you can't copyright a line, the alphabet, circles, tetrahedrons, the number eight, you know, the number eight guy would get kind of mad about the guy who copyrighted circles, and the list goes on. You can't copyright these simple elements because then no art would be created. Basic shapes would be owned by someone. But what about artificial intelligence? The name artificial intelligence is really a bit of a misnomer. It's not actually intelligence. The qualifier artificial indicates that it's not really intelligence. It's something created to simulate intelligence. It is not its own thing, which is why the computer doesn't own the copyright to whatever the computer creates. You do. When you take a picture with your iPhone 1 million, with all the little AI things that clean up your picture for you, do you own the picture? Yes, because the phone didn't take that picture. You took that picture. Think about what AI models are doing when you create art with them. You're feeding the model information. A human being has to sit down, put in words, put in seed numbers, sometimes even train the model. So it's kind of difficult to argue that no effort went into it. But what about creative effort? Think about what they mean when they say creative effort. They usually mean, did you draw it with a paintbrush? Did you have to figure out what you were drawing? Oh, okay, well, then it's creative. You typed some words into a blank? Oh, I don't think that's creative. This whole creative effort thing doesn't make any sense. It's a stupid criterion by which to judge what should and should not be protected by copyright. The bottom line is, if you create something non-trivial, and human action is how it was created, then it should be copyrightable by the person who originally created the work. The person who keyed in all those little terms into the AI, fed it a seed number, or a bunch of seed numbers, and tried to see what they could generate, they weren't using paintbrushes, or a graphics tablet, or a ruler, but nonetheless, they're taking various inputs feeding it through an algorithm to produce desirable outputs. That's what you do in Photoshop. That's what you do in a lot of computerized things. Consider that what you're talking about with AI when you go, oh, it's not creative enough, therefore it shouldn't be copyrightable. Three Blue One Brown creates algorithms for his channel that he uses to create lots of really great little graphs, all kinds of neat mathematical things, and he does his animations with it, all kinds of stuff, and it's Python software. It's Python software that generates those images. Now, he has to feed his software something, but he's not drawing it. He's telling the software what to do, and the software draws it. AI is no different. It's just a more complex model that the stuff goes through. And it doesn't work the same way as painting. It's not draw a line here, draw arrow here, but you're still training a model and then feeding the model seeds that get chewed through that training data to produce an output. 
and then you're curating those outputs to find ones that are desirable. There is creative effort going in, it's just unorthodox. But something being unorthodox doesn't make it non-copyrightable. Is the modern artist who's taking a big old spatula and a bucket full of melted cheese and throwing that cheese at the wall? Is that person creating a copyrightable work? Unequivocally, yes. Everyone watching this would have to say yes. Everyone watching this would not necessarily say, that's a useful copyrightable work, but it's still a copyrightable work. How much creative effort goes into slinging cheese at random? Not much, but it's still copyrightable because creativity and your agreement with it is not what should determine what is and isn't copyrighted. See, if you take this whole AI thing to the logical conclusion where, oh, AI is not copyrightable, the, the output of an AI, we can't have that being owned by the human that fed the AI what it needed to produce the output. If you take that to its logical end, nothing computerized can be copyrighted. You didn't draw that picture in Photoshop, the computer did. You didn't take that picture on your iPhone. The phone took that picture, manipulated that picture, and then spit it out. You didn't take that picture on that camera right there. That camera did the focusing and the exposure and the white balance. About the only thing you did was lift it up and press the button. At what point does this notion that the way you obtained a picture somehow makes it non-copyrightable end. So I think that's a really stupid way to decide what can and can't be copyrighted. And just to temper all you people that know how libertarian I am, and you go, oh, why are you advocating for copyright? That doesn't even make any sense. You're the last person that should be doing that. Just remember, I also advocate for copyright to be cut down from 70 years plus the life of the author to just 20 years. 10 years with a 10 year renewal, just like patents. And that's the way it should be. So that AI art that someone generated, they should have the right to it for two decades. Then it's mine. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, you know all the jazz. Support me at jodybruchon.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.